We are excited to be here collectively to address the world's greatest challenge, climate change. The impact of climate change on livelihoods, food security, nutrition at household level and the environment has been absolutely devastating. If we continue to fund crop expansion on the one hand and forest protection on the other, we simply waste taxpayers' money. We also waste precious time as a result of a disjointed, discombobulated dance. Solutions to some daunting challenges depend on us working together. We go down and try to understand the problem from the ground, and lo and behold, what we have seen there is what we now know as the landscape approach. What is known to all of you is not known to ministers of finance and economics about the unbelievable opportunities in uh, landscape. There's a buzz about landscapes these days, and to many, uh, I think, are still thinking about it as a theoretical kind of a structure. But landscapes are real things in the world. They are large areas where mosaics of land use that are deeply interconnected socially and ecologically. They're places where people live and make their livelihoods by drawing on resources from across the landscape. To a small holder, there's no divide between agriculture and forestry. Only when we take a landscape approach and look beyond farming at all the variables that affect our land, can we boost agriculture production while adapting agriculture to climate change and reducing agricultural emissions. So there really is not much choice for scientists and policymakers but to develop the tools and the on-the-ground knowledge to manage landscapes that perform multiple functions. History shows that creative juices start to flow when crises demand solutions. No organization or institution has the, the capacity or the power to invent and implement solutions alone. Co-creation becomes a must. We must merge the experience of the private sector with the one of field organization and farmers organization with the support of local governments. I think there's three points which I see as themes running through them. One about being more integrated, one about getting action on the ground, and one about being people-centered. Many would say that landscapes are an important part of the solution. I don't agree. I think that landscapes pretty much are the solution. Thank you.